Kima, my friend. Becky said that you wanted the recipe for the beer can chicken, so we'll try this, see how this works out. Start out, I've got a whole chicken. Clean it out, gut it, open it up. Take a few cloves of garlic here. I've got three in there. Got half of an onion. Cut into quarters. Uh, I'm using Vidalia sweet onion, but you can use any kind of onion. I just like the flavor of the sweet onions better. Get that up there. Deep enough so that the beer can can fit underneath it. We peel up the skin. so that we can rub underneath here. Um, I got a little rub. Um, it's uh, salt, pepper, whatever you want to use. I'm using a little bit of garlic salt, some pepper, uh, a little bit of chili, uh, maybe a couple other spices depending on how you, how you want to flavor it and taste it. So we make sure we pour a good amount of that up underneath the skin of the chicken. Rub it in. Make sure that it gets down covers the inside of the chicken, rub down into the legs, rub the breasts. Uh, I want to I wanna start by putting, rubbing it with some uh, olive oil. I like that because I like the skin to be a little crisp and if you don't do that uh, it doesn't crisp with the slow smoking. So, And then the important part, hang on one sec, is the beer. Now you can also take the beer and uh, a lot of times I'll use rosemary. I don't have any rosemary today so um, we'll go without the rosemary. Um, the important part about the beer is this. You can't put a full beer in there. It will go all over the place and make a complete mess. So what you want to do is, is you want to take the beer and you want to drink about half of it. Um, oh, I might need a second beer. Um, anyway, so you take this. I happen to have a, a device that's kind of built for this. So it has a holder for the beer, has a holder for the chicken. Uh, you don't need it. It's just nice to have. Um, if you don't have that, the key is that when you put it on the grill, you want the heat offset. So um, this device kind of takes care of it for that, but you can you know, take some uh, aluminum foil or, or even like a metal plate sticking underneath the chicken or when you line up the coals uh, in a barbecue grill you can line them on the outsides of the chicken so it doesn't get direct heat underneath it. So, um, and then when you're ready you, um, well, the beer can goes um, up the chicken's butt, that's why they call it no, oh, they call it beer can chicken. I call it beer butt chicken. So, anyway, that's kind of how you prep the uh, prep, prep the chicken. Um, one other thing we're going to make on the grill today is some peaches. I don't know if uh, there are many peaches in India. I don't think I, I had too many. But um, I'm going to go ahead and grill some peaches. So I will take these and I will slice them in half. Pull out the seed, and then take in, I will take brown sugar and just put a bunch of brown sugar on it. Um, you can also put some, some lemon juice in there. I don't have any today, or I would do that. Uh, it gives it a little more of a, of a flavor, but it's, it's pretty good with just the brown sugar and the peaches. Um, and then we'll cook these along with the chicken on the grill. Um, that's the prep. Here in a minute, when I'm done with the rest of this, we'll go out to the grill once the fire is done and, uh, and cook our chicken. Okay, so not, now we have our fire nice and hot here. Um, and we will get our chicken on here. All right, give me a second. 
second as I completely forgot to remove this extra utensil off of my uh, grill before I started. So it's a little bit hot for me here. But uh, we'll basically keep this in here at a medium high heat for about an hour and maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, looking for the internal temperature of the bird to be at about 75 degrees. Um, and if you are doing this in an oven, I would cook it um, at about 175 degrees, I believe that should be around 350 Fahrenheit. Um, and again, cook that for about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, maybe a little bit longer in the oven. Um, trying to again keep the heat. The, the key is to cook it a little slow, keep an indirect heat on it, um, and uh, and kind of almost almost let it uh, slow cook. Let the beer keep the bird moist, um, and uh, and that's basically how you cook it. We'll come back in a in a little while. Put the uh, peaches on, uh, got some veggies to go on here, um, and check on our birds. Okay, so uh, we're not quite done with our prep. We've got the, the chicken on, and it's cooking, but uh, i got to do some sides too, so uh, I'm going to make some, some asparagus. Uh, pretty just simple. I'm going to just take it and Put in some aluminum foil, throw it on the grill. You know, first, uh, I don't want the whole thing, it won't be that much, but I'll take just a little bit here. I like to trim off the ends of the asparagus. Just put it on some aluminum foil, uh, drizzle it with a little bit of oil, although I think I'm low on olive oil, so we'll just use a little vegetable oil here. Give it just a little bit of, of the seasoning. Um, I like, this is one of my favorite seasonings here, but it's basically just the Greek seasoning. You can just do salt, pepper, whatever, but I'm gonna use the, this cavenger's on it. I kinda like the flavor of that. Um, and then I'll just put these out on the grill here in a minute, wrapped in this aluminum foil, keep it open just to, just to heat them up, cook them, uh, make them a little soft. <clears throat> the other thing I'm going to do um, is I am going to make a couple jalapenos. Um, kind of like these smoked and grilled. Um, first I slice them open, not quite cut them in half, but slice them down the center so that I can open them up. Um, kind of pull some of the, the seed out of the center of it and I will take that, add some cheese to that I've got some a little Mexican shredded cheese but you can take whatever kind of uh, cheese you want Take that, add that into the pepper so it's nice and stuffed with all that cheese. And then take a piece of bacon. Wrap that pepper with the bacon. toothpicks to seal it together and then that will go on the grill with about oh, I don't know 15 minutes left to go um, I'll put the asparagus out there about the same time and um, I'll wait a couple more minutes maybe put the uh, 
the peaches out there with, with about t uh, 10 minutes left to go, just enough to get them nice and warm and soft, keep them on, a, on an indirect heat, but they'll, they'll cook up nicely. So there she is. She's done. Um, we got her off the grill anyway. Um, she was at uh, internal temperature of 165 in the breast. Uh, that's that's Fahrenheit, um, which I believe is about 75. And uh, now we let her rest uh, five minutes uh, while the rest of the food cooks. Uh, the veggies are on the grill. Those should be done shortly, and it. It's time to eat. Okay, this should go last, really, but uh, since it's kind of dessert. But next off to grow were these lovely peaches. Um, again, just brown sugar and peaches. Um, I did add a little lime juice to some. Um, I found some of that in the fridge, but uh, for the most part, you can add fresh, fresh lime, fresh lemon uh, before you cook them. Okay, and here we have the rest of it. You see the asparagus. I uh, decided to throw a little bit of cheese on that um, just because it looked a little too healthy without it. Um, these are the bacon wrapped jalapeno peppers stuffed with cheese. And um, over here I've got a couple, uh, um, they're, they're called sala salami dogs. Um, something I picked up from a local deli. They, they are absolutely amazing. Um, very well known for their salami. Joya's Deli. Um, when you come visit, you, you must, must have their salami sandwiches. Anyway, that, that about does it for our meal. Okay, Kima. Uh, I hope you got everything. Uh, if not, I can certainly write down anything and again I did this all on a grill but uh, you can certainly do all this in the in an oven as well uh, you know, probably around uh, three three hundred and fifty degrees Fahrenheit um, 175 uh, I believe anyway brother miss you um, hopefully we'll uh, see each other whether they're in Pune or, or maybe you'll get over here for some of our culinary delights here, man. Uh, anyway, be good.